Welcome to Mount Random but Relevant, presented by My Block TV. I'm your host, Oswald Williams. Today, we got a special guest. He's a recording artist out of Georgia. I want to welcome Jay Bands. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you been? I've been good, doing what I got to do, staying out the way. True that, true that. Congratulations on the release. Young nigga shit. It's going crazy on the gram, going crazy on YouTube. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what made you want to write that song? Uh, my boy had sent me the beat. We, uh, he had put up on me. We, we was chilling in the car. He had played the beat for me. And I, as soon as I heard the beat, I knew it was one of them beats that I could go crazy on. So I told him to send it through to me. And I had went probably to the studio like the next day. And that's just how I was feeling when I got to the studio. You feel I was, I was on some on some lit shit. So, you know, I'm a young nigga, so I just, that's how I started off the song. I was just freestyling. That's how it came on, you feel me? Yeah. So how do you wish it was what's usually your writing style? Do you like to be with your team? Do you like to just have the headphones on and on and out to the beat? Is it both? Like what's your what's your what's your style? Uh really most of the time I probably just freestyle, but like sometimes I, I if I do it, if I do ever write anything, I'll probably like write it down on my notes on my phone. I'll be by myself, probably like at the spot just chilling. I hear a nice beat. I get a beat, one of the producers send me and I'm fucking with it. I'll go straight straight to my notes and probably write down. I probably write down like the first eight. I don't ever write down the whole song though. I'll probably write down the first eight bars. And then after that, I just go in there and just freestyle the rest of it. Well, Random but relevant presented by my block TV. We here with Jay Bands. What makes a good song to you, man? Just got a vibe, like I got a uh good song is really like the hook, man. The hook, the hook is the main part of the song, cause you know it come back two or three times throughout the song. So once the hook catchy. That 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 really will make the song good. How do you think you've grown? How long you've been doing this, and how do you think you've been grown? What, what how have you changed as an artist? I've been doing this shit for a long time, probably like sixteen years old. But at first, I grew a lot because at 16, 17, 16, 17, uh, I was making I was making music on my phone. Mm -hmm. I was with the, I was using the headphones and downloading a little garage band and stuff like that. And I was making my music off the phone. And then I seen like I know I seen like I, I gotta I gotta do better with the quality, you know what I'm saying? People were watching and shit. So I went started getting in the studio throughout town. A year go by, I'm in the studio. Now like now I'm uh 20. I, I like back then I was using YouTube beats and stuff like that. Now I got producers that I got Actual, the actual beats and the rights for now and stuff like that. So I really came a long way for real, for real. Who's your top five right now, dead or alive? Who's your top five favorite artists? Who inspire you the most? Top five artists. Oh, we. Um, top five artists. I can't. Let me see. God, Lee. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with Lil Baby because you know he in Atlanta, he in my city, he do his he doing his thing. Um, I really like like I don't I don't, I ain't really too much don't really be too much listening to like the the top people, you know what I'm saying? Like the big the big people in the industry. I be listening to like the, the upcoming people. I, I fuck with um Baby Plug, Lil Double O. I can't give you a top five off my head though. Like what who I just. Could listen to all day long. I like Lil Double O though. He 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 cool. Uh baby plug cool, little baby. Who else I be listening to? I don't even know. Who else I be listening to? Yeah, I'll be listening to uh CEO Trey Lee. He 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 doing his thing too. It's a couple people out here. All them folks in my city though. What all the people I just named really in Atlanta though. For real, for real. Are you strictly like really locked in home team right now? Yeah. I, 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 I like people outside the state, like uh, Boston Richie. He from from Florida. He cool. Mm -hmm. I, I, I follow Boston Richie. When it comes like rapping and stuff, I, I ain't gonna say like I can't really tell you like who inspired me and make me go harder for real. Like I be doing my own thing. I be watching them and stuff and see see what they do and you know what I'm saying. It, it do make me go a little harder and you know give me ideas on what to do. But inspiration for real, I don't really. I don't really be looking at rappers too much, you know what I'm saying? I 
I get it. I get it. Who 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 directed the video? Why uh young nigga shit directed uh my my <laughs> cameraman my cameraman did swag. He helped with the directing. Honestly, we're kind of like some freestyle that day though. Like we just end up. I had I had picked out locations and you know what I'm saying, but uh really like you know what I'm saying, based it out. But he you know he did for the videographer, so he had the eye to like you know what I'm saying, shoot right here in the corner. You feel me? Do this right here. You know what I'm saying? So this swag, he yeah, he he nice with it though. He he good with the uh directing and stuff for for sure. Random but relevant presented by My Block TV. We here with the Young Lion, J Bands. Uh, I want to talk about your last project. You had a lot of bangers on that project. Did you? Uh, what did you learn from that project, and 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 what are you gonna bring to this new project that you you, you shopping right now? That project. Uh, shit. I, I I had a lot of nice songs on there, but I feel like it wasn't getting heard because I wasn't doing too much. I wasn't doing too much promotion, so. For, for my new stuff I'm coming up, I'm planning on doing way more promotion. You feel me? And on the last on the last project, the some of the beats on there wasn't wasn't you feel me? So so on this one I'm trying to get all the beats get to get them done the right way, get everything, drop it all, like how I got it, you know what I'm saying, the right way. So, so could everything come out right. Promotion is a big thing too. I ain't promote the last the last one for real too much. So like it was doing good at first and then it had died down. So you so talk to me a little bit about the merch. Uh, I see you wear a lot of the uh, band chases. Who, who who does that consist of? Like your, your other rappers, other other. It's really, it's really like my bros for real. My bros around me. Uh, we all chasing bands, so we just made some shit called band chases. You know, we made a shirt, some hoodies and shit, and we started rocking it. You know what I'm saying? Rocking it so the city could see it. You know, I really just me and my bro. We had came up with it for real. Okay, that's what we doing every day, chasing bands, trying to get some money. So we just turned it into a little a, a label, a name, you know, a brand. So what is what is what are your some of your goals for 2023? Getting out there, man. Getting heard more, doing shows. I'm trying to I'm trying to get out there, get my name out there. That's my goal. That's one of my main goals: is getting out there and getting getting heard. If you could do, if you could sit down and have a business meeting with any artist in the game, who would it be, and mm -hmm. why? Artists. Or oh, any CEO, any artist of the game, who would it be and why? Shit, bro. I'm going with Drake, man. Why Drake? Good, man. Drake, Drake, one of them artists that 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 know know what he's doing and he he know how to he know how to, you know what I'm saying, expose artists and help artists go up like Drake, Drake got a good name in the industry. I ain't never heard too much bad shit about Drake. So you got some tracks for the ladies too? I I, I probably like two of them. Uh, I I gotta focus a little more on that. I got I, I got a couple. I like two, three of them, but I don't think none none of them out yet though. So I got I got probably one of them out, but gonna kind of just put them out naturally. Yeah, gonna come throughout time. I got I got a couple though. You got a track called Better Man. That's probably one of my favorite tracks in your discography. Uh, do you remember where your headspace was when you made that song? Uh, yeah, I was going through it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Going through it. That's right. how I was like, I'm gonna make a song that's gonna inspire me to do better. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, a lot of shit was going on around that time, man. You feel me? So, I just felt like I had to make a song like talking about being a better man. Is music is music therapy for you? Yeah. Yeah, you can say that because a lot of times, like when shit be going, like a lot, of, a lot be going on in my mind. I, I want to, I see myself want to go to the studio. Like I try to goddamn get in the studio so I could let that shit out on the mic for real, for real. So hell yeah, it's kind of like therapy. So it was around maybe 15, 16 when you really started locking in, saying you want to take it serious. Yeah, you could say you could say 16, 17. Okay. Are there any other aspects of music that you into, or you just really like to lock in and spit? What you mean by that? Say it again. Do you do you like uh, other aspects of making the music, like uh, record, like mixing down, engineering, making beats, or are you just really into the rapping? 
I done made two beats before. That's crazy. I made two beats before, actually. I uh I went to my partner's house. He got the whole setup. The you know what I'm saying he got the whole the, everything to make the beats and the uh, the whole little program and stuff. So I had went over there one day, and I had just got down instead of recording the song. I had asked him uh, if he could help, if he had helped me out, show me how to do it and stuff. I had made a beat. I made two beats before, but that ain't nothing that I see myself just focusing on and trying to do. I'm, I'm I'm trying to get in there and record some music. You feel know I me? Mean? Mm-hmm. Make some music. Do you have any uh a Caribbean background? And if so, do you would you ever bring incorporate that that into your music? Yeah, I do. Uh, my people from South America, they Guyanese. My whole family, my mom and dad side. Uh, hey, yeah, I I I'll, I'll get a song with with a Caribbean artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Make something nice like that. I've been listening. I've been listening to some some of them. The interesting thing about you is like, you look like a lot of times when I see your videos, you look like you're from the south. You look like you're flying for the south, but a lot of times you do be looking like a dancehall artist sometimes too. So that's why I ask. <laughs> is that like a dancehall artist? Okay. Yeah, sometimes, a lot of times, a lot of times you do, but that's in it's in you. That's why I ask. Yeah, if I say it's in me, so it's gonna show. I, I fuck with I fuck with with the Caribbean music though. You was telling me that you linked up with some producers from from Toronto, right? Yeah, from Canada. Yeah. How does it feel when you when you do you do you look at it as progress when you get to interact with people on the internet and you actually get a link and stuff like that? How does that feel? Yeah, that made me feel good because that that showed me that people watching and, and and hearing and you feel me they they see something in me because I feel like. Uh, Bro really reached out to me. One of the uh, it's two. Uh, I got two producers from Canada now, but one of them had reached out to me and wanted to lock in with me. And ever since then, we've been locked in, like been showing love for real and off the strength though, cause we ain't never even met each other in person yet. So for him to just be showing love like that off the strength, that that's that show something, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Random but relevant presented by My Block TV. We're here with Jay Bands. I want to ask you some. What would you Tell a young 15-year-old right now trying to figure out what he want to do, fell in love with music. What are some advice would you give him? With, with the music? Yeah. Shit, just, just keep going, man. And don't try to follow the way. Try to do something different. Don't don't try to watch and see what another person doing. Try to do your own thing and, and find what you want. Find your your voice and your flow and do your own thing. Don't try to hear what, what someone else doing and try to follow their flow and stay consistent. You gotta stay consistent. Once you stay consistent, it's gonna go because it, it's gonna be in their face. You're gonna keep putting it in their face. They're gonna have to see it. Even if they don't wanna see it, they're gonna have to, you feel what I'm saying? So being consistent is like, let me see this. Being consistent is like the main thing. What a, what a, uh, talk to me about some tracks. I know you got young, young nigga shit out. Talk to me about like, what, what project you dropping now? You just gonna keep pushing the last one you dropped. Oh yeah, so uh, I just shot a music video to "Harder Than Never." I just shot a music video to "Harder Than Never." Uh, that's that's coming. I'm probably gonna drop that as a single, but then I'm, I'm gonna drop it as a single and probably put it on my uh, upcoming. I got an EP called "Reroute" that I'm dropping. Uh, I don't know exactly. I don't got a date for it yet, though. I don't got a date for it yet. So, um. I can't tell you tell you when that's coming, but I do got something coming. The track's already done. I already got all the songs done on this. Probably gonna be like eight, nine songs on there. Uh, harder than every one of them, though. I'm gonna drop harder than every first, and then I'm gonna come back with the reroute, the EP. But right now, uh, harder than ever. That's that's the one that's coming next. I, I just drop. I mean, I just did a, a music video for that one, and I'm about to drop it on our platform probably in about a week or two. What do you like better? Do you like writing the song or do you like performing it? What do you what, what's the, or recording it? What would be uh, you? recording? I'll be having a hard time right now. I said I really don't like writing because like I be thinking too hard, trying to trying to think of too. You feel me? You trying to trying to think of some fast shit and fast shit to say. So I'll be thinking hard as hell just just to make one bar. But when I'm in there in the studio actually recording and I can hear my voice on the on the beat. I could I, I could keep it rolling, you feel me? Like it just come off the head and I I don't think too much. I just say, you feel me? I got you, got you. So you feel more comfortable uh obtaining all that in your head and just kind of being more natural. Yeah, yeah, for sure.
Okay, okay. Talk to me some. So I'll just give, give a couple plugs about to who are some of your main people that you rely on, some people that you know believed in you the most. The bros, man. My my folks around me, the main ones around me, the people that surround me. My little brother, them, they inspire me and make me want to go hard on my family. But like the bros, you feel me? We with each other every day. They see what's going on. They they help me. Got them want to go hard and do better, cuz you feel me? Like we gotta do, we gotta get out of here, you know what I'm saying? Trying to go up and see different shit. So they make me stay consistent and keep this shit going. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday when I called you to do the pre-production meeting, I noticed you were just laying down the track. And I, one of the things that was interesting is the beat was a little bit more soulful than with the beat you go with. Well, where were, like what made you want to, where was you going with that track? What made you want to make that kind of? It's real shit. Like, when it kind of beats and stuff, my producer, they, they, they say, say they does something like a 10 pack beat, you know what I mean? 10 pack of beats, you know what I'm saying? And throughout that 10, I might fuck with four of them. I I I don't know what exactly it is with the beats. Like, it's just something I be listening for, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that beat right there that I was playing, I, when, I, when I played it, I just heard, like, I heard something, and I was like, yeah, I'm fucking on this one, I'm gonna hop on this one, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't just be strictly straight on rap. I, mean, I got different type of flows. I could, I ain't gonna say singing, but what, what, what you call it? What, what you call it? It ain't singing, it's more like, Kind of like a melodic, more melody. Yeah, yeah, like that, like melodic. Yeah, I don't. I could do. I could do. You feel me? A little bit of both type shit. So with that beat, I was fucking with it. So that it, it put me in that mode. Of, you know what I'm saying? How did you learn how to? You know, a lot of times I see a lot of artists. They have like these different platforms, but they don't really know how to put their music on IG. You know how when you go in stories, and you oh, yeah. just kind of pick the music. Um. What's the process with that? Because that's that's kind of like you don't really see artists your age no one having that know how. So like, what made you what made you go that route? Shout out shout out to Distro Kid man. Distro Kid is is, is a, uh, what's a card distribution that help 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 your stuff get out there on every platform. Uh, you got to pay a little some, but you pay a little something you could drop every day if you want to for a whole year. You know what I'm saying? It's going to go on all platforms, Instagram, and that makes your shit look better. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, like you said, there's a lot of people out here that don't have their stuff on Instagram. You could just look their name up on Instagram and find all their music. So, uh, Distro Cut is what I went through, and, and that's how I got my stuff, my, my name up there and stuff. All right, I, advise, I advise if you're rapping, make sure you go through Distro Kid and get your shit up there. Is it easy for you to collab with people you don't know, or would that be hard for you? It ain't it ain't hard, but like I gotta I gotta be I gotta be fucking with your music though, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I gotta like I gotta like your style though. I, I I could I could rap with anybody, but it's gonna make it easier to if I'm if I'm liking your style already, I like your flow, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't gotta specifically know the person too much. I you feel know I me? Mean? I I'll collab with somebody <laughs> without too much extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't that type of person that that stiff on making music with other people and stuff like that. Before we go, this is the million dollar question. If you had an opportunity right now, would you want to be signed or would you want to be independent? <laughs> right now, as we speak. Uh, okay, so look, you asked me a crazy question right there. Would I rather be signed be independent? Right now, as we speak, like, okay, so. Right now, I ain't, I ain't making too much money and shit on the music and stuff like that. So if someone came to me right now with a deal, you know what I'm saying, and it's it makes sense and everything, I probably go ahead and sign right right now if we if we you know what I'm saying. But really, I I see myself being independent. If I if if, if nothing like that happened, like this, I don't know if someone can try something before I I already get my buzz and I already get my thing going. Then I'll sign. But if I already got my buzz going on and I'm and I and I got my thing going, and I did that shit by myself. I it's no I don't see myself signing. There's no I don't see there's no point of signing if I did it by myself. And I feel me, I'll just continue doing what I gotta do myself. And it's gonna take me up there. I don't I don't need nobody behind me if I already did it by myself, you know. But like right now, the position I'm in right now, a, a boost a, a boost is very helpful and needed right now. You know what I'm saying? That would be very helpful for me. So. Sign if 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 it's uh 
Yeah, I'll sign right now if, if, if someone had came to me with it with a deal right now, just because of the position I'm in. But what if you had an opportunity to do to choose between one now? Now, what if both of them represented the same amount of money, everything? Which one would you? Oh, yeah, do? I'm definitely going independent. I, I'm I ready to go do this, do it by myself. You feel me? Because you can make your own decisions. You know what I'm saying? You can do what you want to do. It's a lot. It's a lot with that. So I would definitely like to go independent because, you know, what I'm saying how, how, especially how I move. I like I like to be independent and do things myself anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I can see I see myself being an independent artist instead of a signed artist. Got you, got you. Before we go, let the audience know where they can find your music. What's your tags? IG everything. You can find me on everywhere, any platform, whatever you listen to your music on. Just type my name up, and I promise you, I'm gonna pop up. J A A Y B A N Z, J Bands. Go watch my new uh music video, young nigga shit. Just type in J Bands Y N S. You gonna find you gonna find me everywhere. I'm on every platform. You you can't miss me. If you miss me, you weren't trying to see me. Well, guys, that's our show for today. J Bands, we wanna thank you for coming on the show. We got a lot. Yeah, we have. We got a lot planned, man. They not the first time on my block TV, but it's definitely ain't catching fast. Yeah, this this keep just up. the beginning. One hundred percent. Keep up the great work. I love the camaraderie. I love the cohesion with your team. I want you to take that youth and take that energy and, and do great things, man. Thank you very much. I got one of my right 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 hand guys right here, KC. He doing this thing too. You know what I'm saying? He. He show a lot of support, you know what I'm saying? Pop out of every music video. He, he always did to he with me right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you was deep in that music video. I definitely saw y'all. You was deep. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially for this new one. Especially for this new one coming up. This new one that's coming. I don't think I don't think they're ready for this one, man. So when you before we let me ask you one more question. When you when you about know you about you preparing to drop an album. How many songs you think you make it? Even if the album only got ten songs in it, how many songs you think you make to pick between to pick out of those ten songs? Um, sure, about 20, 25, 30, You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I'm probably sitting on about thirty songs. I only picked out eight for the EP. You know what I'm saying? And then if I come back with the album, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load up again and have a good 30 songs I can choose out of, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'll I, I be loading up. I, I'll load up before I just, you feel what I'm saying? Because I don't want to ever have, like, a little bit of songs and I drop all of them. Now I got to, you feel me, put in put in a lot of work to build back up, you know what I'm saying? So I could drop some another project. I'll I, I be trying to keep keep a good amount of songs so I could just, when it's time to drop, I just pick out the, you know what I'm saying? Instead of having, I got to go to the studio and make Make three, four songs. I need three more songs from the for my uh for my project. I, I like to just I already have everything. You know what I'm saying? Before I even before I even think of a project, I already have a project already made. You know what I'm saying? Then I gotta go and pick it out. Well, J Bands, uh, once again, I want to thank you again. You're officially my Block TV alumni. Whenever you got stuff going on, please let us know. We got you. For sure. Thank you for having me, bro. All the time. You know it. That's our show for today, guys. Don't forget to check us out every Wednesday, 9 p.m. exclusively on QP TV Spectrum. Also Saturday, 1.30, channel 79, QP TV Spectrum, all other capable riders. Please check your local listings. You can also stream it on your Spectrum app. And you can also catch the audio on Spotify. Brand of a relevant. That's our show. Peace out, guys.